everyone in the sewing and quilting world has their own specialty. And Laura Wozolowski, my guest and friend, combines the slow quilting method with the quick quilting method. And slow quilting being embroidery, hand embroidery, and quick working with fusibles. Welcome back again to Sewing with Nancy, Laura. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. And we're going to give a quick little demonstration on some of your unique combinations of art quilts. Mm -hmm. And you start with fusibles. I fuse everything. So when I make a small quilt, I cut, free cut usually the shapes and I'll fuse them. And once they're fused into place, then I steam set them onto batting and then I do the hand embroidery. And the embroidery really sets it off. I, I, I love the combination of the dyed fabrics and the embroidery. So yeah. let's show our viewers one of your little mini samples here where you okay. have preformed cut some of the elements. Yeah, this is a small little quilt and the idea behind this is to start with free form, free cut shapes and then I'm going to put it onto the batting before I stitch it and anytime I do that I always put it onto the non-scrim side of the batting. Now this is really important, scrim. Yeah, you know. some bats have scrim on them and what will happen right. with a fused quilt because the glue is directly touching the batting is it will ripple the yeah. quilt. I don't know if you not, can see that. Oh yeah, and not so yeah. good. Yeah, that is Here's, not what you want. There's the there. flat, there's scrim. Scrim is this little network of fibers that goes on it. Yeah. It and mess things up. It, yeah. it certainly does. So you make sure you get the non-scrim side. That's right. And, and this little quilt is going to have a wrapped binding. So what I'm going to be doing is I have a really stiff interfacing that goes behind the quilt okay. and the batting. So it's kind of the sandwich like that. Can you see that yeah. stiff interface? Yeah, it's very stiff. The yeah, batting. and that's going to give it a nice flat shape. I make sure the not, you're not going to write on your batting, but <laughs> something like that. Okay. And I have them stacked up. Great. And then often what I'll do once I have them stacked up is I will cut them with a wavy edge. I like kind of that wavy edge. Yeah, it adds a nice dimension to yeah. it. Yeah. So I'm going to cut it in that wavy edge. And then I'm going to separate that stiff interfacing from the what's in the back so of the quilt. So it's only one layer. Yeah, so this is what you end up with, something like this. And you can see the threads knotted because on this side... Yeah, it's all the stitching. All yeah. the fun stitching. Yeah. And Laura dyes yarn, yeah. and, not yarn, excuse me, thread. Threads. These are Pardon some me. of the, it looks like size 8 and size 12 threads I dye. And so I do all the hand stitching just through the batting and the top layer. And then once all that's done... And I'm going to... Okay. You're going to put that stiff interfacing yeah, back? Yeah, I match it up. See how it kind of matches that like same shape? Mm -hmm. And see, I left this extra fabric around the edge, so I'm wrapping it. Now, this has fusible web on it. Yeah, Paperback it does. fusible web. Right. Okay. And then you wrap it. I wrap it. So I always start at a corner. I form sort of a 90-degree angle at the corner there. And you'd use an iron, not your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I always use irons. I don't know why. But, and then I'll fold it down like that, and then I'll kind of fold tuck. it and iron it as well. Tuck so it creates it, the shape. Yeah, it follows that, that wavy shape around the edge. And I'll do each edge. And then what you do after that, Nancy, is you're going to fill in that back. Oh, I like, I like this part. Yeah. So the back We're is gonna filled pull in up. with, yep. um, sometimes I'll do kind of random acts like that. So I, often I, I know that you yeah. use leftover fabrics. Yeah, leftover fabrics. You could even maybe, I'll show you this one as well. You could even make maybe a reversible quilt, something. Oh, cute. Yes. And the best part about the stiff interfacing is that it keeps it nice and flat, but all the, hang it up is all you need these little loops on top to hang them up. So my, what a lesson in a couple of minutes. <laughs> it was fast. Combining yeah. uh -huh. fusible applique, mm -hmm. embroidery, Working with craft interfacing, batting, yes. the non-scrim side, right, and then wrapping the fabric around the stiff interfacing. And you don't have to do a lot of the binding techniques. Yes, it's really a nice way to trim them out. Your specialty is multifaceted and you execute it well. Great job, Laura. Thank you, Nate. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>